First and foremost, I'm glad that everybody returned safe and sound. Good job, everyone. Ah, uh, but the fact that we were able to survive this encounter alive. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh my goodness. The fact that Union came in out of nowhere, I was saved by the skin of my hair. Go boys. <laughs> uh, glad that she <laughs> was uh, useful. Um, what? What happened? I I wonder. When I I felt like I saw something and uh, my my mentality and uh, my I feel weird. It's it was feeling vague and not it's um what happened yes it's very weird but if i if we all try to remember it my head kind of starts getting twindled what does everybody feel like this when everybody survives uh -huh. this is definitely different from the era where battle uh yeah battle uh, confusion that uh union experienced hmm. as uh young fei yeah as uh young gum fei has told in this situation the result we have was the best at least i'm glad that there was no casualty at fault but the price that we had to pay for certain was not yeah, the price we had to pay was also not small either. Currently, our all halls and our sh uh, yeah, all, our ship hall has been shattered into pieces. But the fact that pressure valves and defense perimeter has been shattered here and there, and right now we're doing our best to prevent uh, be getting sunk by these rainbow-colored water from seeping in. Right now, currently, the Nemo Murin, uh, the Nemo series and Skasa Skadi is using their very utmost strength to prevent this from happening. But right now, I'm really surprised that we're even alive. Is a mystery. Uh, engine san ni mono sugoi sekkan wo kuratta. Ah, uh, na san ga naoshite kureta kedo. It says, yeah, the, uh, Nemo engine has definitely hurt us. That's for sure. Uh, even though Miss Nurse has healed me. So essentially, Miss, uh, the Nemo engine beat us up. She was just like, not like strong punch, right? But he was just like, damn it. Like, why'd you make me do this? Hmm. Definitely the reason why, yeah, the reason why we're currently in this situation is that we... Uh, underestimated and took lightly of the situation and the strategy we currently had. We've underestimated the enemy's strength and power and our method of safety and uh, method of safety and our escape routes were very uh, limited to only one. That was bad. The fact that we were able to eradicate the enemy's ship, right? The fact that we were able to defeat the enemy ship that was getting in our way to go to the next section. Right now, Nautilus can't even move an inch. At this moment, I feel like we're a corpse of a whale. In order to function once back up and bring it back up to its uh, minimum, uh, minimum strength, we need to go to many different battlefield and zones, and we have to restore a lot of resources once again in order to repair a ship to a above, uh, av uh, yeah, above minimal level. And you gotta understand, the next seaside section is going to be bigger, wider than a lot. So we're definitely need to keen in on gathering our resources as much as we can. No, Chinas, no, Lucy can still kill us through. 
強化を上昇する資本化リソース人潮の強い現状なんが今後は必死になる強化改造する So it says, yep. And with all these resources that I'm telling you to collect, with the abundant amount of resources, we're going to make sure that the Nautilus is going to be modified so it can withstand the imaginary pressure and the、um, waves that it's releasing. And also, we'll do our very best to soundproof it and make it so it's quieter. And. After that, we definitely need to figure out a way to save resources. Uh, yeah, uh, strengthen our resource saving as much as we can. That is going to be our goal after the modification. And next, we need to add an additional strength towards this. Uh, yeah, uh, we need to add an additional strength towards the imaginary sea battles and surveillances for certain. We need to boost our resources and supplies in order to, yeah, in order to call in more servants to be useful. And first. Ah,、uh, yeah, first and foremost, we should never do that ever again. For a militia group and a reconnaissance group to, ah,、uh, yeah, even against a servant. We should never encounter nor face in an enemy,、uh, yeah, enemy ship whatsoever of any caliber. It will be illogical and impossible in reality. We need to do our best to get our hands back on our torpedoes. We have to. That is a must in any option we can. A torpedo like, yeah, torpedo -like strength is necessary. So, I'm sorry to say this first and foremost, but it doesn't matter if you guys are、uh, guests and visitors anymore. Right here, right now, I'm going to be using and、uh, yeah, I'm going to be using every single inch of your bot,、uh, yeah, every single inch of your energy as much as we can. So, prepare yourselves.、Uh, I don't want to work. Work is I know. Hmm. You know, you're. Treating of your goddess is quite rough in a worst case scenario, but I understand. Hmm. When it comes to people helping, skills and experience, I have those, so leave it to me. And especially you two foreigners, you probably too are going to be the key to solving this imaginary seaside problem, so I would like. To ask for all your attention and your efforts for us to survive. Yes, Union will do her utmost best to serve her master. Hmm. <laughs>、um, <laughs> Goha would like to do her best as well, but not sure if she'll be useful. <laughs> Wait, so do you not remember how to use your noble phantasm? Uh, yes. I'm really sad to say when at the time I was way too concentrated and using noble phantasm and how I pulled it off and what <laughs> the effect was, Goho has no clue, so. She's useless. So, <laughs> maybe the only thing I can do is eat the monster and turn it into magical energy and regurgitate it, and that's about. All right, let's not do that. But then, that's the case. Uh, blood. I can. Pour out an abundant amount of blood. <laughs> so, with that said, please use go. <laughs> go. Goho's job is plain and simple. 
they're going to be yeah she's going to be helping us with the resource manipulation and the resource gathering group and simultaneously she'll be with professor and nurse in order to uh in order to experiment analyze and figure out what's going on you'll be helping that out i don't think we need to take your blood any more necessary we figured out the method there's no need for you to bleed out if we need ever help oh yeah if we need your help ever again we will ask you and if that's uh, yeah when that happens it would be greatly appreciated if you cooperate yep we're relying on you all right it says one day we'll get to see your painting oh i i got a job <laughs> I I also got a praise. I'm I'm so happy. <laughs> Goho will do her best. From here on out, we're gonna be figuring out a specific battle plan. So let's disperse. Uh, yeah, let's dismiss ourselves and uh, have some rest time for now. Hehehehe. <laughs> Uh, uh, I got a job. I've uh, got a specific job. Got a uh, income. <laughs> Goho is happy. She she'll do <laughs> her best. <laughs> Miss Goho. Ah, <laughs> Miss Young Gumfei, Master or Lord Young Gumfei. Um, y you're uh, uh, ha 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 hugging Goho from b b b b behind. Hmm, I am. Congratulations from yeah, yeah, yep. I wanted to congratulate you from getting all the compliments from everybody else. I I can definitely agree. When people compliment you, you get motivated, right? Yuyun feels the same way. Let's do our best together, okay? Um, uh, yes. Let's our, um, best. L Lord Yang Gunfei. Hmm. It'd be awesome if you can use your noble phantasm again. So I'm gonna be, uh, cheering you on to, uh, yeah. Cheering you on, too, to do your best, alright? I just wanted to say that. See ya! How? With, with that picture? How? How did it happen? And first of all, I'm a foreigner. What? Who? Who? Go? Who am I? So, torpedoes, uh, swarm. So, three, two, uh, <clears throat> we're starting, boys. Uh, same damage reduction of units plus damage it deals. Oh, I see. Uh, Char, it'd be nice if you, uh, not spoil too hard, brother. But nice. Three, two, one. All engine halt. It says, yep, just in time. We're now reached a new region of the uh, sea, uh, sea map outside the first sea world. We're in a new depth. So, yeah, there's no assault anywhere, right? Good. Oh, shit, I gotta turn off the music. Yep, I halted all engines and sound ahead of time in order for us to use momentum to go forward so we would make the least amount of sounds to the next segment. From here on out, we can't lose any... Yeah, we can't lose... Um, We can't undermine anything, underestimate anything. And I will not... Yeah, I will not play it ball, uh, boldly. Uh, 
。最後の秘密で、非切なサブマリーナーの援護士を見通すよ。さて、新しい新築に到達したところだ。少しリソースは取ってある。決めたいところ、新しい戦力の補充をお願いできるか So, essentially,、um, Nebo is saying that yeah, we're not going to let our guard down, we're not going to be prideful, or we're going to be arrogant about it.、Uh, right now, we're going to be calm, collected, and show you the godlike submariner technique in order for us to survive this、uh, situation. Now, now that we've reached a new point or a new、uh, segment, We've taken a couple resources in order, for this to、uh, in order for this to work. We need a new,、uh, yeah, we need a new strength、uh, or a battle combatant or a.、Uh, yeah, we need new servants, essentially.、Uh, can I ask you to get more? Of course. Summoning time, right? Yep. Like I said, we definitely need a person that feels like a torpedo. We need a person that can actually hit like a torpedo. Yes,、um, when it comes to that, errors and bugs were all fixed from the first get go. So this time, for certain, you will get the servant that you want to call out for, and no bug or error were to occur.、Um, when it comes to. Shooting torpedoes and servants like that, all we can come up with is、um, perhaps the,、uh, the engineers and the inventor group. No, it's not that we actually need a physical manifestation of torpedo. What we require for most is one, it's a gigantic,、uh, yeah, gigantic shot. Of a noble phantasm that can cause an, an explosion from range. What we definitely need is anti ship.、Uh, yeah, anti ship type cannon or yeah, anti flagship,、uh, anti -flagship um, noble phantasm is what we need. Number two, it, that,、uh, the second requirement is that it's not a beam. It's not a laser of any components, but a physical manifestation of an object hitting something to create a catastrophe of an explosion. And if I were to explain why it can't be a beam, there's a whole section and essay about it, but. Ah,、uh, yes. If I were to chomp it down to a very easy to understand dumb,、uh, dumbed down level, if you were to shoot a beam in this、um, imaginary sea, the strength and the output would disperse due to the fact of its non consistency of elements in reality. So, meaning beam's strength would be downgraded at the current moment. Hey, it seems that enemies are shooting beams. Um, yes,、uh, that is the un. Yeah, it's the imaginary unknown factor beams. Yes, they are indeed cheating. And the fact that we're like a seaweed, not knowing what sort of attack they're homing us into, is the current situation. Uh, あれを解体したビーム保護を対、uh, 包容するには大変そうなので、Yeah。So it's going to take us probably forever to analyze the enemy's beam in order to use our own at this current moment.、Uh, current moment. So I believe a physical form of a torpedo like method of attack would be the most simplest and easy for、uh, managing in this dire situation. And after all, the real thing, you know, torpedoes are、uh, magnificent creations、uh, because it's the uh, beautiful science,、uh, you know, correlation and mixation of harmony of、uh, steel and oil. After all, the.、Uh, 
the description is quite simple and it uh yeah it produces tremendous power so you it's more reliable that way after all and at the same time the best thing about these things is that they're customizable if you were to add additional rune you can do skew or uh you can even add homing system and it'll make our job easier hmm well that's the gist of that and three uh bakuyaku nado hasha rengo for to shio to shitai hoku de aru so it says three uh, we don't yeah we can't have any smokes or afterburners or anything that will leave a trail back to us that is the noble phantasm that we're requiring we can't use anything like a cannon of sorts after all because we uh we need to stay vigilant and quiet and stealth is our uh, yeah, most strongest thing And the uh, vibration of the noise, our hall can't handle it at the current moment. So if the Noble Phantasm gets activated and the sound reverberates back to us, we're do yeah, we're basically doomed from the start. And the enemy can echo locate back us our location because of it. And last and least. We definitely want the Noble Phantasm to be very optimal, very strong, and sturdy, and explosive. But we can manage to a certain degree, as long as those criteria fit. It says, yeah, the Nautilus is magical workshop, or aka forgery, or magical resources. It, we can direct uh it can directly connect to it if necessary to raise up its optimal output so as long as it's, it's anti-army rank d and above there be no problems so with that criteria in mind the option we'll have is probably archer or a writer to be perfectly honest, a lancer and an assassin would probably be, uh, yeah, will probably be the criteria fit to this category. So why not we do the goddesses gay bulg alternative? Hmm. I. It, yeah, it's possible, but that's if it was actually the skasaha that was the actual one uh muri ni kigaeta skuru ya au toshi no kaka wa hobo ippon jin nami ni teika suru nda so we did our research and from what we found out when skasa skadi forcefully changes her attire to that swimsuit of theirs she actually descends herself down to her usual form and she becomes worse than her original and she becomes a regular person. It's just almost like an imitation. She can copy it, but her damage output would be negative, if not suboptimal to our criteria. She definitely should not be put into the front line, at least for now. And even though he's saying that um she's very vital to the research and uh yes research and engineering staff area so it would be greatly appreciated if you don't take our best uh yeah best resources away from the department so then that means that this uh, selection logic thingy that you guys were talking about choosing the right person actually means something, correct? Hmm, well, that's the gist of it. So, let's do this. Let's start the summoning. Uh-oh. Ara, ara, ara.
Um, well, now that I think about it, while I was training myself in a simulator, now that I've come to this place, it's Miss Raiko! Yes, the fact that you're so happy to see me. Mother also, too, is ecstatic. I heard that you were going on a journey on a sea underneath the faraway area, but I believe that there was no planning to summon me, correct? <laughs> then if that's the case, perhaps there was a accidental occurrence happening and needing my help. If there's any unexpected error to occur, that's no problem indeed. Any problematic, harsh hurdle, I uh, harsh hurdle, um, difficulties. Uh, so essentially she's saying any hardship, struggle, a problematic occurrence were to ever face us, I w yeah, we will uh, face it diligently and eradicate it and, uh, yeah, in, uh, in an instant. And, well, I must ask, well, well, a lot of young, uh, yeah, a lot of young ones surrounding yourself by it, Masta, and, yes, I'm really glad that I have been summoned, truly. Uh, yeah, Mama, wakai. So it says, yeah, a lot of young girls, but um, this can be um, uh, this can be translated as young cuties. Uh, because if you don't know how to spell otoko no ko, um, and otoko no ko can spell two different ways. R you can spell it ways as a regular male or like astolfo otoko no ko. And then if you type in otoko no ko, it spells male in fee uh male ma a uh, young male right so essentially mariko is saying that a uh, young uh young kids or young lads surrounded by it yes yes and then raiko is quite ecstatic and happy about it because her motherly home loans are exploding <laughs> <laughs> so Nemo is making a face. It says, "Ah, oh, shit! It's a berserker. This is the worst." But he can't say it out loud because he knows he's gonna get killed. So he's making a face of like disappointment and despair. He's like, "Ah, oh, shit! It's a berserker. It's over. We're dead. We're dead. It's lads. Yeah, it's something like that. Young ones is what Mama Raiko would probably say." And yeah, Nemo's expression faces this like, yeah, it's a berserker. It's over. We're dead. We're fucked. We're fucked. It's over. We're doomed. And then Mash goes, um, Senpai, then perhaps this can... Yep. She's the best candidate for the job, for sure. Huh? Did you say something? It seems that... Including... Uh, yeah, it seems that I'm getting quite... A unique reaction from multiple people. One might be happy and ecstatic. Others look sad and despair. It says, oh, no. You just came in time. Warrior of the foreign land of my side. Right now... Currently in this ship, the morality is need to be in order. You see? And I've heard from, uh, yeah, I've heard from during summer, the, uh, ogre or the demon of morale is what you've been doing so far is the news. And I've prepared the promised things just for these occasions. You know? Oh. That's... That's the classified within the classified information. Oh, wait. So you... Oh, wait. Huh? Wait, you... So you self-realized that it was... It was classified. And it was very... 
very hush hush underneath <clears throat> then if that's the case so essentially skiddy right here chat said um right now a moral needs to be tightened but mama raiko's morals versus skiddy's morals is two different things right skiddy is saying that we need our morals up it means that we need to be in high spirits uh we need to get motivated to get going mama raiko's morals is you know indecency is happening and trying to keep uh an order a balance of healthy natural high school like shenanigans you know like anime wholesome shit but skadi is using wordplay here saying that we need our morals you know we need moral to be uh um in place and then skadi says i heard that you were uh quite the demon who can uh you know who can pull off such imag uh, yeah, unimaginable feat. And I've even prepared the uh, sacred clothing for this occasion. And then, yeah, and then Raiko's like, this, this is, uh, you know, this is supposed to be on the down low of the down low, the classify of the hush push. How did you, <laughs> and then your answer is, oh, so this was supposed to be like quiet. That's right. We're about to witness her change into, uh, whatchamacallit, two milfs in the same room? Hell yeah. Feels good, man. So, and then, uh, um, Raiko goes, <laughs> and if that's the case, no, this cannot be, then I must do what I needs to be done. But, in order to, uh, yeah, in order to function this uh, shadow of the moral committee uh, president, I need a summertime, aka I need the strength of summer. I need a ukareta jo ya yoki no motarasu midare no ya fuki o midare ga shiyou nano desu. And so she's explaining that in order for her to become the shadow representative of the moral committee, right? She needs summertime, aka a strong uh, strength of summer. Uh, the when morals and people is high on their horses and being very lewd. Uh, the moral disruption of sorts is necessary. Then if that's the, yeah, if that, if that doesn't happen, I'm going to run into quite some trouble. I don't know what that means. I think she goes fucking insane if that doesn't occur, but. Uh, Kagenga. So essentially she's saying that if a distortion of morals or you know if people aren't lewd and me not being able to um balance the morality of it, I might go crazy and it's not yeah, like I might go crazy for it. <laughs> and there she is. The perfect candidate to bust out the uh, moral committee institution. Oh. And Osakabe Hime says the following. It says, man, it's so hot. Uh, so essentially it says, yeah, I have to reduce resources and it's hot in here. So, uh, yeah, cramped up in just a room is I can go outside, right? So I can collect more resources. I got to get out of here. So I'm going to research, resource hunting. Uh, uh, and then Mama Raiko's like. Nani? And then oh, Oki, Oki Archer's like, uh oh, this can't, uh, yeah, this cannot be. Protag, uh, and then Skitty's like, Protag, now's your chance. <laughs> With my command seal, I command the, etc., etc. So essentially, she threw the swimsuit at. The yeah at Protag and Protag would just get Raiko's swimsuit and use the command code and said, "I order you with my command seal. Change into the swimsuit without being lewd." <laughs> uh.
I have ascended. It says, I understood your situation loud and clear. I see. Indeed, in this ship. Uh, yeah, indeed, this, in this ship, there has been definitely some temptation of summer lingering within. I've witnessed it and noticed it myself. And it cannot be tolerated. In order to protect my beloved master, I would throw my position as a mother and will do my very best in order to, uh, yeah, in order to uh, bring morality of equality of wholesomeness into its realm. I will do my very best. Yes, this is prohibited, shameless, and um, yeah, this is quite shameless, prohibited, and inexcusable. Yes, we got Rancer Mama Raiko, boys. Mm, well done. It's amazing. Now, in order for you to do your job of uh, teaching these uh, unprohibited works, I want you to come right this way, uh, this way to deal with them. Huh? Huh? Uh, n n no, right now I must uh, teach Miss Osakabe, uh, yeah, Lord Osakabe Hime here, all the the uh, yeah, all the shameless and prohibited things that she is breaking rules of moral of wholesomeness that in front of uh, yeah, showing in front of Master. And uh, yeah, so essentially, Mama Raiko is saying, I gotta teach, you know, I gotta, I gotta teach Osaka Behime a lesson, right? Like, she's being lewd. Too lewd! <laughs> and then Skadi's just like, come this way. Yeah, um, wait. The fact that right after my arrival, I had a threatening killing in a uh, yeah, killing sense and target behind my back. Are you gonna praise Hima? Uh, yeah, are you gonna praise Hima for a good job well done, Masta? Yeah, I'll I'll let Miss Raiko know later. Okay, and then the first option is next time. Next time. It says little by little. Little by little, I've un starting to understand the situation. <sighs> if it's a circumstance such as these in a dire situation that you are in, you should have just explained it from the get-go and I would have complied. Yes, but oh well, I understand. It couldn't be helped, correct? I kinda get the gist of it. But anyway, I, the student council president, has arrived. Uh, the, yeah, the moral committee has arrived. Uh, so essentially, she's saying that with my noble phantasm, will be used as a torpedo, will strike even this foreigner sees divinity into shattering pieces. I will annihilate. Hey, Nautilus has gained a torpedo. Hey, Nautilus gained a torpedo. And then Skasa Skadi says, <laughs> We didn't just gain an offensive maneuver. With Raiko's help and ability, we were able to amplify our um uh, amplify our reconnaissance capability even more. Uh, it says, yeah, as everybody says, using my Lancer Spear and using Divinity, uh, So it's essentially she's saying that using the Lightning that she, uh, so essentially by using her Noble Phantasm, not only she can be used as an offensive, she can use the um, Feedback, which is aka Lightning in this case, that traverse through the entire uh, certain area, they can vibrate and create echolocation of its own to figure out more of the plate. It says, what? Are you serious? Woohoo! Hime's work is now done and over with. Hooray! What? What are you saying? Reconnaissance capabilities 
we can always have more than one. So, just prepare yourself to get shot relentlessly still then, okay? あと私は貴重な結果の解説などさっぱりですのでそこは悲鳴気味に丸投げ元に頼りするとおり。So uh, essentially Mama Raiko is like, well, while I can uh, maybe do a better range of um, reconnaissance, when it comes to analysis and location finding of specific things, I will leave every single job of that calculation towards Hime. So please, you'll be definitely needed so mama raiko is trying to like be be like a wingman and be like don't worry you still got a job i don't know how to you know like discreet uh tell things in description and details and calculate what's what so you're you're still gonna be needed and he is like ah wait with that said my job just increased even more <laughs> and then Mama Raiko's like, yes, indeed. <laughs> With an amount of work piled onto. And if I were to stop her movements to advancing Musta, this would make Musta's uh, ho uh, yeah, feelings and anxieties go away. Essentially, Raiko is just like, all according to Keikaku. Essentially, TLDR this entire section is just all according to Keikaku. Keikaku means plan, by the way. Kappa. Kappa, not Kappa. So yeah, uh, to translate it, it says, yeah, now that we can restrict our movements even more, it would keep Masta safe and healthy and wholesome. But then again, uh, yeah, so I have to be on guard, right? Be on guard. I can't be off guard or let my guard down in order to prevent any more uh, distortions in this morale as a committee uh, I must do my very best to keep the morales in line it says I to be perfectly honest I don't know what was gonna actually happen here um a, a swimsuit just wearing a swimsuit they can change class it's quite um Mysterious. People of the Claudias are weird. Uh, mm, swimsuit. <laughs> eh, mm, swimsuit. Maybe change will allow class change for uh, Goho too. <laughs> just, just kidding. Goho just joking. It will never happen after all. It will <laughs> never. Goho. Are you okay? Seems you're worried about something. The, what are you saying? Uh, uh, come see, Captain. I... Right now, I get to even paint uh, willy-nilly. Uh, I can just stare at a goddess and paint how I like. It's uh, a wonderful second life. Ah, <laughs> Master, if we could have a word after all this is over, please. It says, yeah, uh, e either nod slightly and um, I guess everybody should get back to their station. Oh, is she not good with that, Raiko, I wonder? All right, now we're done with the operation. Pro tag. With all that said and done, what do you think of what, uh, yeah, what do you think of what, uh, Union said? So, dun 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 dun, going back to it. 
Um, well, Yun Yun started to, uh, yeah, uh, to be perfectly honest, I still, I still remember what little Goho Chan, uh, noble phantasm is. Uh, yes. And because of that, uh, like the sea captain and the c commander, I believe I should tell you that is a necessity thing. And oh, by the way, please have this off record so I won't get suspicious. Um, yes. Mr. Goho's noble phantasm is called Du Pe Tangi, aka the old man of Tangi. But I believe that's a very famous painting, but. Whenever she used her noble phantasm, I believe the. Within the realm, or you know, within the realm, the paintings and others started moving and started to help us in order to protect us. And I believe Miss, uh, yeah, Miss Union, aka Young Yang Gun Fei, is trying to tell is that she was able to create a painting into reality inside the uh yeah inside the imaginary realm C correct hmm yep that's right that the fact that our ship uh yeah that the fact that we currently are able to sustain our existence into the imaginary realm is that because of we have the uh, magic uh, conversions and equations to the imaginary side, and we have the blood of Goho, um, uh, yeah, using some uh, materials and methods to make us exist to some uh, to some certain degree. So it says, um, yeah, her Saint Graph is able to manipulate and control the imaginary realm. That's the, yeah, that's the method is what I've been noticing. And that the fact that the Noble Phantasm's information that we've just recently received from Yang Gun Fei, it's... Uh, it says, yeah, during that log of calculation, it would be quite irregular to explain in words, and it's going to be difficult to um, speak in easier terminology, but... Essentially, within the real number calculation conversion, a tremendous amount of a gigantic data didn't exist and because it didn't exist, therefore, it was allowed to work. And thinking it like that, it makes sense scientifically. Uh, so essentially Nemo is saying that the fact that this overwhelming realism, uh, a reality that was so irregular that it, um, uh, that the fact that it bypassed the vision of Young Gum Fei's um, texture and her thought process could not, uh, 
yeah, the, her thought process could not follow everybody else's protection. Therefore, everybody took a mental damage and probably forgotten what the Noble Phantasm was, except Miss Young Gunfei. この説明は筋は通っているし、より悪い家ぞも内藤で閉まる。本来には、あ、いや、異空間、あ、あ、創世中のありえないはずの障害物や怪物も彼女が放棄で生み出した可能性は十分にあるね。So essentially, uh, Nemo is saying something weird occurred, right? Uh, the reason why we can still stand here and you know traverse through the sea is because we're using um imaginary calcul uh, magical calculation technique and we have some uh reserve uh you know some blood of goho analyzed and figured it out because of that uh, but apparently that her saint graph is already uh pre-motioned to able to manipulate the imaginary realm to whatever she feels like and with the new information of the Noble Phantasm that we received from Miss Young Gum Fei, it feels weird that the log of machine is, uh, yeah. It's hard to explain in, uh, through log because of the number readings and the spikes are very irregular. But to simply put it from out of nowhere in real calculation, a tremendous amount of un, uh, yeah, avoid, um, data was inputted. Therefore, an occurrence like that occurred. If we were to think about it like that, it would make sense. That the fact that suddenly something materialized or quote-unquote something just existed all of a sudden and these um, illusionary textures that uh, Young Gunfei experienced was very... Uh, yeah, uh, so yeah, um, the illusion texture was so strong and the essentially the brain couldn't process it fast enough to the point that everybody took a mental uh, mental damage to the point that they've forgotten about what they've witnessed or they feel very um, hazy about it due to mental fatigue. With this explanation, a lot of things would start to make sense. Uh, simultaneously, I will tell you the worst case scenario that's been hap uh, that can come out of this result. That the fact that her noble phantasm has a very high possibility to create something from reality of the imaginary realm, whether it is obstacles or monsters. She's definitely could be the culprit in this all entire operation. Uh, and then Mash specifically says, um, yes, to be perfectly honest, um, her suspicions was always up in the air from the get-go. Uh, but every time we witness her personality and then the way she talks, we get detoxified of how threatening she is, and we probably let our guard down because of that more often than we need to. It says, from my perspective, I believe she is not a very ill-intented person, but from the hero other heroic spirits' um, point of view, it seems that it's very more complex. I would definitely put that in the back of my mind next time we have uh, any uh, contact. Hmm. Yep, well, the problem is after all, it seems that she is even questioning her own existence at the moment, so. It says Mr. Goho. I sincerely hope that we get to find out who this person really is. But, yeah. But. Hmm. Ayashi, Danjo, Nanyo, Ashte, Oide, Nano. Uhuhu, Eiji, Sama, Kaere no Yoni, Dai Nanyo. Uh, and then uh, Gun Young Gun Fei is like listening in the uh, doorway, right? And so she's just like, hmm, suspicious. What does the commander and the ship captain know about something that I don't? And then Gofo goes, <laughs> um, Lord, 
Yin Yang Gunfei, it seems that you are sticking very close to, <laughs> to the door like frogs. What are you doing? I not nothing. It says, Goho chan, understand this, okay? No matter what happens, Union will always be your ally. We're in the same class after all. You and I are gonna stick together, okay? So bye. Huh? <laughs> it seems things Goho does not understand. <laughs> 